What's up, y'all? And here's a few signs that you are making spiritual progress. You're starting to become more comfortable with being by yourself. You know, at first, it can maybe cause depression or you would maybe long for a long lost friend or, you know, just, just hated the fact of being alone. But now you're accepting it. You know, you're learning to grow while you're alone. You're using that time to hone in on skills, you know, just become a better you. You feel like you're flowing in the right direction, you know, even if it's rough right now, you still feel like you're doing the right thing, that you're, you know, moving closer to your higher self, you know, fulfilling your call. You notice you have to cut ties with people who are not good for you, even if it's somebody that you love or somebody that you're close to, you know, if they don't intend to bring positivity, love and light in your life, you know, you have to stay a distance away from them. Notice you're able to collect your thoughts more before responding. Like, let's say if you get into an argument or whatever the situation may be, you notice you're able to sit, you know, rationalize the situation, then respond. You progressing? Comment below. So we all know about the hidden truths in movies, right? Well, I want to bring back Lilo and Stitch. Come with me and you'll be in a world of pure imagination Take a look and you'll see into your imagination Today's tiny tip is just to ask yourself, are you identified as someone who struggles? If that is you, is that helping you achieve your goals? Does classifying it as a struggle make anything any easier for you? Who would you be if the life situations that you were experiencing weren't a representation of struggle, but just were? Who would you be if you approached all of those situations from a level of openness and curiosity? Who would you be if the struggle wasn't real? The universe will repel that which no longer aligns with your frequency. It will physically try to remove these things from your life. So when you try harder to keep them, it will try harder to remove them because you cannot flourish while still holding on to that which diminishes you. Think about this. Nothing in the world is good or bad. It is our own judgment of a situation based on our perception that is very biased and very limited that determines whether something is positive or negative, good or bad, any extreme. So here's a story from A New Earth by Eckhart Tolle that illustrates this idea beautifully. There was a wise man who won an expensive car in the lottery. His friends and family were very happy for him and came to celebrate. Isn't it great, they said, you are so lucky. The man smiled and said, maybe. For a few weeks, he enjoyed driving the car. Then one day, a drunken driver crashed into his new car at an intersection, and he ended up in the hospital with multiple injuries. His family and friends came to see him and said, that was really unfortunate. Again, the man smiled and said, maybe. While he was still in the hospital, one night there was a landslide and his house fell into the sea. Again, his friends came the next day and said, weren't you lucky to have been here in the hospital? Again, he said, maybe. We can never see the bigger picture from this single point in time, but you have the choice over your own perception, the way you see the world, and the way you see each individual situation. Five alkaline herbs that are life-changing. 